This is the Juice Booster 2. It is a portable uh, mobile charging cable or charging station, that's what I would call it. Uh, that supports up to 22 kilowatt. So I'm holding one of the adapters here. Uh, that allows it to connect to virtually any socket. Whatever it has power, you can connect this to it and adjust all the settings. And this is very compact and sturdy. It's Swiss quality. So I've heard that you can drive over this cable. Uh, so I'm gonna try that, of course, with Optimus Prime. That's what I've been waiting for. But also, I will test all this adapter and see how good they are. Yeah, I don't have 400 volts at home, but at least I have this one. Uh, the 32 amp 230 volt so uh, let's check it out then so you know when I said it was portable I never said it was light because this thing is heavy like ugh, and I'm, not, I'm used to lifting heavy nimber tasks but uh, this is just uh, it's made from some kind of metal I'm not sure what it is maybe probably aluminium yeah so um, and then it has rubberized uh, like ceilings and protection and then in this end, you have the Type 2 plug that goes into the car, right? And then in the other end, there is this, uh, this connector. And then with that connector, you can connect to various other uh, adapters. For instance, if you want, if you have the red plug, uh, 32 amp, all you have to do is look at those markings. There's like markings there, you see? And then you have to align those two wait there yeah and then click and now it locks into place um, and then it's easy to just unlock this and this is IP67 certified so it will withstand water uh, of course you can't use it underwater but at least it should withstand rain and snow and all kind of crap uh, so you see we have various adapters uh, this one is the, the 230 volt 32 amp and then I'm not sure what this one is uh, I don't know all these plugs it seems to be some kind of household plug for I don't remember maybe it's it says here but um, uh, okay this one is for UK if you need that one and then here's another variant of a household plug uh, and all of these you know they use the same standard um, socket uh, well, it's, 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 they made a custom uh, type. This is the 16 amp 400 volt. This is the 16 amp uh, CEE blue plug. And then we have the regular Shuku, right? And there are also other variants that I don't have in this package, uh, including the, the type 3C <laughs> for France. Uh, and then also we have this end here that actually goes into a, a charging station right so it's a type 2 so actually if you use this one like this let me see me, 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 a kid is supposed to be able to do this there you have to align the the red dots lock it in place then basically this charging cable becomes a type 2 cable so I'm also gonna test that uh, man it's, this is heavy stuff Ugh. and also if you're concerned about security there is a solution for that because you know in order to to unlock this thing all you have to do is push this side like this let me show you better but to push that one and then it unlocks <coughs> there uh, so there's a solution for that which is to where did it go now i lost my i lost my lock all right, I managed to fit it now. So now the cable is locked and because the cable is locked and it has a perfect fit towards this ring, right? Uh, then you see, it prevents you from unlocking the, the, the plug. So this is like, you know, theft proof, okay? Maybe you should get um, a four digit uh, lock instead of a three digit or maybe even a key here. But you know, you get the point that the, at least, you know, uh, the casual thieves won't be, won't bother trying to steal this end but on the other hand who the heck would steal this end because you know this adapter is very expensive so uh, I don't remember the exact price but I think you know, the, the basic just this one and a few other like maybe the red adapter whatever cost about uh, 1000 euros so it's very expensive so I don't think many people will buy this just to have it around but uh, <coughs> keep in mind that this one 
supports 22 kilowatt AC, right? So, uh, like in the old days when I went to North Cape, uh, I I had to bring like this this big and bulky mobile charging station, right? Because uh, the UMC, okay, this one, this is the UMC. It's of course much smaller, but the UMC for Tesla only supports up to 11 kilowatt AC. So uh, if you want fast, if you have faster juice, you cannot get faster with this one. Then you have to go for those mobile connectors, I mean mobile like charging stations, or one of these. So, um, uh, but you know, it's I mean it makes sense in a way because you know normally I would travel around with this these two. This is Type 2 cable, and then the UMC, and then because we have that adapter, like I mentioned, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Well, okay, so this is one, yeah. With this adapter, this becomes a Type 2 cable also. So at least you save some of the weight and complexity with this thing. And I, I think you can uh, you can customize what adapters you, you need. So you don't have to buy all of them. But there are, of course, some sets that you can buy, like the, the Euro, European set or whatever. Uh, and if you go for those full traveler set, you know, it would be even more expensive. <clears throat> I think it was like... Uh, 1,500 euros, so very expensive stuff. Uh, but on the other hand, you also get good quality. Like, okay, I haven't tried to like run over every cable, but just by judging, you know, the the thickness of the cable and how it's made, it seems to be good. It seems to last. Well, one test I'm gonna do is to actually try to use some of these um, over time in winter and stuff. But um, like how useful are these adapters nowadays when you have superchargers and destination chargers and fast chargers everywhere because keep in mind that these adapters all of these are for charging on AC when you, where you have to use the car's onboard charger and you have uh, I don't know uh, an industrial red plug or maybe you are at some some camping site or you are in another country where you don't have that plug right and um, so for Tesla maybe not that useful for other cars yes maybe because you know this this charging station here is a standard charging station it doesn't only work on tesla it works on every car that has a type 2 cable and i think also this end here the end that goes in the car you can also get a variant for type 1 if you happen to have one but there are less and less cars with type 1 nowadays even the new leaf has type 2 you know but anyway, let's test the Shuku first, right? So I found the Shuku adapter and then I just snap it in. Let me see. Where's the where's the red one there? Okay. There, there, alright. Now the Shuku is ready and let's test it out. Okay, so you plug this one in here. Like that, alright, and then the other end in the car. Ooh, and it lights up. Okay, so now it tells me why it's doing some initiation. Okay, what do you want to go for? Uh, 16 amp, earth off. Oh, it has some uh, some settings here. Uh, it says standard UK, France, Norway, earth. Okay, I haven't read the manual, so we're just gonna do this. Okay, now it blinks on that one. 13 amp, 10 amp, six, eight, six. Okay, so it can go up to 13 amp on uh, Shuko. That's safe. I'm actually, uh, <coughs> for safe charging, you want to go for 10 amp over time. I mean, if it's cold outside, you could go for 13, yeah, but it's not recommended over time. Um, but also, you see here that this one also supports, you know, the Norway's uh, uh, electrical system because uh, the, the UMC has some problems with that. You actually have to get a Norwegian UMC if you want to charge in Norway. Uh, why is it blinking there? It says Earth off, okay. Uh, I think we don't have grounding here uh, and then this one also comes with the RCD uh, for DC and AC so um, yeah in Norway it's the same as you know uh, Avarn, Bevarn uh, I think yeah but I don't know let's plug it in the car and by the way let's compare the length of the cable right so the UMC is six meters long that's like 20 feet yeah, for those who want to go Imperial but Okay, so if we are compare, this is the UMC to the left. Uh, where are all these fossils? There's always a fossil. 
Oh shit. Alright, but anyway, so the UMC to the left and the juice to the right. Which cable is the longest one? Oh, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, oh. Ooh. so the UMC is about one meter longer. So I think the other one is five meters. Yeah. I don't know how much that is in Imperial, but all right, let's uh, plug in this side, the juice side, the juice booster too, okay? So, we just open there, okay, plug it in, blue, green, blue, yeah. blue, what? Yeah. Uh, let me check out, um, oh, you know what, I think it, it doesn't want to charge, Gee, we have problems already, what the heck? Uh, what am I supposed to do? Okay, there. 13 amp. Maybe I had to choose how many amps I want to charge at. How about now? What? Okay, this is this does not does not look promising. Like the UMC will just plug in and work. But well, this one complains about the earth thing. Okay, but how the heck do I change this setting? I want to charge. You know, I'm a noob. I didn't read the manual. This is the way I review I uh, review stuff. Because this is the same way people are gonna use the. Oh, shit, that fossil. Okay, maybe. Uh, let me unplug. Plug in again. Not in German. Oh, okay, English. All right, so I read the manual, and um, it turns out that you know, this, when it blinks like this, red, and then it it uh, highlights what error it is. Uh, so I have an earthing problem. It, it didn't detect earth in this uh, connection, right? Uh, I don't think it has anything to do with this one. Uh, it's just an extension all the way back back behind the, the house. And I tried this one, which is my neighbor's uh, outlet. Uh, the same problem there. It it claims that there is no earth in there. So I'm like, uh, okay, so maybe this one is safer because it it, it says in the manual that it was do not charge on this uh, outlet. It has danger of electric shock. But I don't know. It works with the UMC. I've been using the UMC for a while, so that works. But not this one. Huh, so that's a bummer. But at least let's try the the blue plug then. All right, let's try. Now we put this one in here. The blue plug, and then it lights up. Uh, 32. Uh, what? What? I'm getting the same error here. Shit. Wait, can I choose that one? 32 amp. And now it also complains about earth thing. What the heck? Let's try to plug it in, see what happens. Alright, let's see. Plug this in. And then it will probably just be blue like uh, yeah it, it briefly went green and then it's blue because this one refuses to charge uh i don't know why again i've been using umc and it works so that's a double fail so far um yeah i guess i can i can ask the juice booster people uh but at least let's try the last one then which is to charge it in a type 2 so we will only use this charging cable as a type 2 cable and so in the garage I have the type 2, so I'm gonna unplug this one. I'll have to do this. Push. Yeah, okay, there. Unplug that one. And then I plug in this one. Uh, there. Well, yeah. This is gonna be one expensive type 2 cable with this thing here. Yeah, let's plug it in the car. Alright, and this end goes into Oh man, this is Yes! Yes! <laughs> Wait a minute, it's green now! Finally, first time I see green! So the cable is just dangling here, and now it says... Well, I guess this is the animation for charging in progress. Yes, oh, okay, um... There's an extension cord I could have used, but... Let's skip that for now. Let's see inside the car. What are we getting? What are we getting? Ooh. We are getting... 16 amp. Oh yeah, because this charging station supports all the 16 amp. But that's good. Hmm. Well, let's go check it out again. Uh, so what, you know what? I have to do one last thing then. 
in the test which is to run over this cable and then try to see if it works. Oh shit, what the heck? Um Yeah Oops I mean they said you can run over it. I said what are you sure? And they said yeah you know, this thing was branch banking new just a half an hour before <laughs> when I start reviewing it. So, okay, so the rubber thing has taken a beating. <clears throat> it can probably be replaced. Uh, so let's just put it back in. Wow, it seems like it's been used for 10 years now. So, you know, um, yeah. Uh, now we have less... It's not IP67 anymore, it's IP44. <laughs> uh, oops, oops, okay. Well, at least, you know, they wanted a good review. I gave them a good review. It seems like uh, the tarmac took uh, a more beating. Look here, it's gonna be permanent like that. Oh, man. Well, okay, so... Um, I guess if I can't... Uh, if I don't need this one, I can always sell it after I reviewed it. Yes, uh, all right, let's test if it works. Uh, okay, let's see, let me plug this in. Push! Okay, now let's see. Does it light up? It's dead. It's dead! Oh shit! Wait, uh, maybe I have to... I have to plug it in, but this doesn't look good because, you know, it's supposed to light up. Wait, wait, it's green, it's green. Maybe it was just dead when, before I connected. Oh yeah. <laughs> we are charging. Even Optimus Prime couldn't kill this juice booster. It seems like it's been to hell and back again. Let me see. Are we getting juice? Are we getting juice? 16 amp, right? The maximum speed? No, no like voltage fluctuation or anything. Voltage drop. No! <laughs> oh, damn, that was massive. Well, but anyway, um, I ruined uh, some stuff today. Well, actually, it was just some of the ceiling. So uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna fix this. Uh, maybe if they send me some replacement parts, but I don't know how to fix it myself. So, you know, it's not totally waterproof anymore. Hmm. So, uh, Maybe that rubber ceiling would have, should have been more like tougher, so it wouldn't fall off that easy. Um, yeah, but um, you know, I wonder what would have happened if I tried to run over the Tesla UMC. Would that one survive? Mm, we don't know because the Tesla UMC is not that hard and strong. Uh, it's probably made of some plastic, but this one is made of metal, so it actually withstand uh, Optimus Prime, which is 2,600 kilos. Um, and okay, I had some problems with getting it working on the, on the my stuff here, but you know, my house is old. I don't know what kind of electrical system is th there, but um, uh, the juice booster refused to charge here. So it's probably safe for some people, but for me, I felt it was a bit cumbersome. Like I wanted to see it work, you know, not even the blue plug works. I was like, what the heck was wrong with it? Uh, so, um, all right, but uh, you know, uh, maybe I should try the red plug somewhere, but I don't have a red plug, unfortunately, so um, I cannot review all of that. I have to like try every plug I can find, you know? So, so far it seems to be, uh, the build quality seems to be superb. What I don't like is that it, everything is so heavy. All the equipment is so heavy, but because, because it's, you know, they use thick cables to prevent any like overheating or, or any voltage drop. So that's a good thing. Um, yeah, would I buy it? Um, probably not because, you know, I would buy it if it was in 2013 where we didn't have many superchargers. But as I mentioned, you know, uh, Tesla has a luxury where it comes to uh, the supercharger network. But for other cars, then it might make more sense. Yeah. So... I think that's it. I'm gonna stop now before I ruin more stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And uh, if you want me to review more stuff, then yeah, contact me. I'll try. And also, if you <laughs> if you like to see more reviews, then please let me know. If you're tired of these kind of videos, you want to see more races, then yes, let me know also. So thank you guys for watching, and bye bye.